Porsche. You usually associate Porsche with low-slung, fast-going sports cars. But let me tell you, there are a crazy bunch of people out there that want to take their Porsches for off-roading. And they build something like this. This over here is a 2008 Porsche Cayenne S and it's basically off-road ready and I'm going to tell you all about this amazing build over here. talk about suspension you know we're sitting on the ground or crouching down but this thing is so huge that we can basically stand up and talk about it so this uh, Kayan S is running a Eurowise 2 inch lift kit for the air suspension and of course the air suspension itself has a couple of height adjustment modes as well if I'm not wrong it's currently on the highest setting and as you can see it has loads of clearance everywhere and it can basically go over any sort of terrain you want it's running BF Goodrich uh, tires as well, knobby tires and they look super cool and they serve their purpose as well. But what is most interesting is what it's running under the hood. Underneath the hood you find this honking great 4.8 litre naturally aspirated V8 and it used to make 385 horsepower and roughly 500 newton meters of torque. Of course, as it gets older probably some of those ponies must have gotten lost but uh, Karan has added an exhaust system which probably gains or loses horsepower, it doesn't matter because it sounds absolutely epic. Have a listen. Mated to this engine is a 6-speed torque converter which Porsche calls Tiptronic and it has some really funky looking paddles or if you want to call them paddles, they're basically switches on the steering wheel. But the reason why most people go for these older first-gen Cayans as uh, off-road builds is, is because of some of the kit that this car gets. So basically, the first-gen Cayenne is the only Cayenne that got a 4-low setting for the gearbox and it has a center locking diff. So all of this stuff is super, super helpful when you're going off-road. Hop in the interior of this Cayenne and yeah, it is a little bit dated but it's very, very cool if you're into your retro stuff because yeah, it's a very funky looking interior. This is of course the first gen Cayenne so it gets a lot of stuff from, you know, that era of Porsche. For example, the steering. Uh, the paddles are basically on the steering wheel over here. They're not behind over here like you get in modern cars. Instead, you have these buttons over here and either side you have downshift and upshift. All of your modes for the diffs and your air suspension, your driving modes is over here in the middle. So you can use this little uh, toggle switch over here to, you know, like adjust your settings and everything. All of your air con vents and everything are cool little toggle switches and you get an infotainment screen which is pretty nice considering this is a 2008 car. This being a 2008 model, Bluetooth was still relatively something new that you used to get in cars. So if you wanted to make a phone call or something like that, you had the buttons over here on the center console but I have to say I really like this old school vibe it's very analog very you know retro-y and even the cluster in and of itself looks very very cool now most Porsches have the uh, tachometer over here in the middle but this car really isn't meant to go fast so it has it on the left hand side in the middle you again get an MID screen which has a lot of information that you can go through and overall I mean, I'm not a fan of the interior, but I do appreciate the uh, cool factor about it. The Cayenne was Porsche's attempt at saving themselves from bankruptcy in the early 2000s. It attracted new buyers and gave existing buyers with families a way to drive a Porsche without their partner questioning their decisions. Now, me personally, I don't find the Gen 1 Cayenne to be a pretty or even a handsome looking vehicle. It is pretty bulbous and doesn't really have a good angle to it in my opinion but with the off-road spec tyres, lift kit and these new blacked out headlamps, yes, it does look very menacing for sure. So this Cayenne S is not really about the power, it's more of making an awesome, cool off-road build and Karan has done exactly that. I mean, this is one of the coolest off-roaders I've seen. Uh, it has a 4.8 litre V8 in the front, naturally aspirated of course. And like I said, it sounds magnificent. I mean, this exhaust that he's done, 
just the right amount of loud it's not obnoxiously loud and it has the right note it's a very rumbly muscle cari kind of engine note since it's a v8 once you step on it it makes a really really cool noise Of course it goes nowhere. That was barely 70 kph but yeah, that's not a problem. But of course this thing is meant to go off road. And you can do off roading like i'm doing right now without any sort of worries this thing just basically deletes potholes bumps and everything it's of course made to go onto even harsher terrains and it will go sooner or later uh, karan is just fixing up a couple of things on this build because as far as project cars go everyone knows that a project car is never ever complete and that's basically karan's life right now he has so many project cars in his garage that he doesn't know what to complete when sounds so good and this is such a cool vehicle because on the outside you know like the bf goodrich tires it has the eurowise 2 inch suspension lift kit for the air suspension uh, you know it's a proper proper off roader but on the inside it's still a luxurious porsche i mean fair it is almost 20 years old but nonetheless it has some really cool quirky features that i really love like the air uh, aircon controls I mean they're old school but they're very functional. I mean you have two toggles over here for your fan speed and for your temperature then this you have this old school infotainment system. You have this analog looking instrument cluster in front of you and everything is just so cool and retro and everything. Now me personally I don't like the looks of the Cayenne that much like I've said but I can definitely overlook that because to be very honest the build of this Cayenne is not that expensive. I mean of course it's a Porsche at the end of the day so maintenance running it and the fuel economy I mean it's abysmal we're getting 4 and 1/2 liters but what do you expect from a 4.8 liter naturally aspirated V8 so I mean you have to take all of those things into consideration but if you want a cool off-roader well I think so the Cayenne is one of the coolest ways you can go onto rocky terrain and it has all of the off-road things that you would want it has air suspension so you can adjust the height you have your diff lock settings i mean it basically has everything that you want and of course karan is going to start doing more and more stuff like a tubular bumper in the front and the rear you know he's going to put a, a roof box he's going to put a tire carrier all of that good stuff slowly slowly will start coming onto this car now what are the costs related to build an off road cayenne like this well this is a v8 variant pretty difficult to find anyways usually a generation 1 cayenne goes anywhere between 6 lakhs to 12 lakhs depending on the condition the most common failure in these cars is the air suspension and a lot of electrical problems plague the car as well considering you find a perfect condition cayenne bringing it up to this particular spec costs roughly around 2 lakh rupees let's say 1 lakh rupees for the suspension kit and 1 lakh for the wheels and tires Mind you, Karan had spent 11 lakhs to buy the car and 2 lakhs on top to get it into its former glory. Also, this was a little special project for Karan because this car has been built for his dad. His dad loves off-roading and in our opinion, there is no better way than an off-road spec Cayenne to go climb some mountains. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, a big big shout out to Karan. Do check out his Instagram because he posts all of his project cars cars that he has on that uh, instagram handle so do check him out uh, a shout out to sportech because these are the guys that built this car and i'll catch you guys in the next one subscribe <laughs>